Self-employed people work for profit or fees in their own business. They could be sole proprietors of their business or own it in partnership with others. Also, the businesses run by self-employed workers may assume any of several legal forms, including incorporation. A business that is incorporated, a corporation, is an independent legal entity owned by shareholders. The corporation itself is liable for the actions of the business, not the shareholders. Self-employment is the state of working for oneself rather than an employer. Self-employment may be seen either as a survival strategy for those who cannot find any other means of earning an income or as evidence of entrepreneurial spirit and a desire to be one's own boss. Why do people choose to be self-employed? The National Association for the Self-Employed gives 10 reasons why people love being self-employed. I will only cover a few reasons. 1. Autonomy. Workers in corporate environments often deal with oversight for management. At a certain point, when one is trained to do one's job, an employee expects to be given the freedom to do their job as they were trained to do. Many times, the corporate environment is fraught with micromanagement and socially detached managers. Self-employment eliminates that management style and allows a person to manage themselves. Being self-employed allows you the autonomy and freedom to use your skills to the best of your ability, without the innovation killing oversight that restricts personal growth. Self-employment is an opportunity to feed one's spiritual health by striking out independently to pursue one's path. 3. Ditch the commute. People can spend hours a day on their commute. One of the better reasons to love being self-employed is the ability to manage one's own time and delegate more time to the essential things in life, the people you love. 4. Work-life balance. People are more than just parts of a corporate machine, helping it to run smoothly. People are families, hobbies, friends, and more. Being self-employed allows you to control your schedule and to control your work-life balance. 5. Innovation and creativity. The death of innovation can be summarized in an often repeated phrase, that's not how we do things here. When you work for someone else, you are subject to the company's vision, its resources, and its decisions. Too often, that means that great ideas are dead on the table if they do not fit into the company's values where one is employed. Self-employment offers the creative freedom to innovate and try out your ideas. The freedom of creativity is another thing to love about being self-employed. The creative liberties that a self-employed person can take are controlled by themselves. 7. Increased income. When you do what you love for work, you pour yourself into it, which means you are more committed to your success. Being self-employed gives you the ability to control your earning potential based on your commitment to yourself. As an individual contributor in a larger company, you may not have much control over investments, expenses, or pricing. Still, one of the things to love about being self-employed is financial control. 10. Self-empowerment. The recurring theme of the things to love about self-employment is the control that it gives you over many aspects of your life. This control is about more than just a need to be in power. Self-employment brings about self-empowerment. The realization of what you can accomplish is an inspiring feeling. Self-empowerment can also mean self-love. Loving yourself enough to love what you do is a fantastic accomplishment. People fortunate enough to follow their dreams get to live fulfilled lives. Happiness can spread. If you can live your life on your own terms, you can confidently engage in relationships. Being self-employed allows you the ability to manage your relationships and your time with the people you love. Before discussing the self-employment rate in the United States, let's first briefly cover the self-employment rate in different countries to gain a better global perspective. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has 2021 data on the self-employment rate in different countries. This graph shows the self-employment rate of each country. The United States, 6.3%, Canada, 7.7%, France, 12.6%, Korea, 24.6%, and Colombia, 53.1%. We can see the self-employment rate varies a lot depending on the country. What percentage of the U.S. workforce is self-employed? In 2014, the answer is 10% according to a report from the Pew Research Center. Self-employed Americans and the workers they hired accounted for 44 million jobs in 2014, or 30% of the national workforce, according to a Pew Research Center analysis of data from the U.S. Census Bureau. The self-employed, 14.6 million in all, represented 10% of the nation's 146 million workers. Self-employed workers are found in many different occupations. Self-employed workers and the jobs they provide are integral to the agriculture, forestry and fishing and construction sectors. In agriculture, forestry and fishing 81% of those working in 2014 were either self-employed or worked for someone who was. Self-employment is only slightly less critical in the construction sector, where 68% of workers fell into one of these two categories. In addition, a majority of those, 53%, in professional and business services were self-employed workers or on the payroll of one in 2014.
the share of American workers who are self-employed has decreased, from 12.2% in 1994, the most recent peak, to 10% in 2014. However, in a countervailing trend, there has been a shift toward incorporated businesses, which are more likely than unincorporated businesses to have paid employees. People who are self-employed typically incorporate their businesses in order to receive traditional benefits of the corporate structure, including limited liability, tax considerations, and enhanced opportunity to raise capital through the sale of stocks and bonds. There is a large gap in hiring between self-employed workers in incorporated versus unincorporated businesses. Roughly 4 in 10 self-employed workers, 41%, with incorporated businesses had at least one paid employee in 2014, compared with 13% of those with unincorporated businesses. Men not only outnumbered women among the self-employed in 2014, they were also much more likely than self-employed women to offer paid employment, by 28% to 16%. Family obligations appear to play a role in creating this disparity. Asian workers led the way in hiring among racial and ethnic groups. Nearly one-third, 31%, of self-employed Asians had paid employees in 2014. Now let's look at some 2015 data provided by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. The self-employment rate for older workers continued to be higher in 2015 than that for younger workers. The unincorporated self-employment rate among workers aged 65 years and older was the highest, 15.5%, of any age group. In contrast, the rates were much lower for their counterparts aged 16 to 24, 1.9%. A possible reason is that younger workers rarely have accumulated the capital and the managerial skills required to start a business whereas many older workers may be able to acquire these resources through their own efforts or through access to credit. For all age groups, incorporated self-employment rates were lower than unincorporated rates, however, incorporated self-employment rates also rose with age. Self-employed workers can be found at both ends of the educational attainment spectrum. In 2015, among those aged 25 years and older, unincorporated self-employment rates were highest for those with less than a high school diploma and for those with a professional degree, 10.0 and 9.1%, respectively, and lowest for individuals with a bachelor's degree or master's degree, 6.2 and 5.2%, respectively. Among the incorporated self-employed, self-employment rates were highest for those with a professional degree, 12.2%, and for those with a doctoral degree, 8.4%. In contrast, the incorporated self-employment rate for people with less than a high school diploma was much lower, at 2.1%. Self-employed people who did have workers didn't have very many, with most likely to employ one to four workers. Of the 1.4 million unincorporated self-employed business owners with paid employees in 2015, 70.0% had one to four employees. The proportion with more than 20 employees was very small, at 6.1%. The incorporated self-employed were much more likely than the unincorporated to have paid employees. Of the 2.3 million incorporated self-employed business owners with paid employees in 2015, 52.1% employed 1 to 4 workers while 12.5% had 20 or more employees. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Love of Learning channel to see more videos like this one. The two videos shown on the screen might interest you. Click on them to learn more.